Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. How's your day going? I hope you're having a great afternoon. Uh, I hope your work is going fine. I hope uh, you, you're in a good moment right now and I hope you're happy. Uh, welcome back again to the channel guys. Uh, you know what I usually do here, give you guys an update about Nigerian spy goods and of course uh, there has been a few updates that you know has come out of the Nigerian spy goods uh, recently. A few updates in this video and Obviously, uh, you know, I'm going to start with the first one, which is the fact that, you know, Persero and his boys are actually, uh, you know, working, working, uh, you know, in, in trainings, trying to, uh, you know, get it right in training before that Friday's game. Uh, but of course, yesterday I mentioned that the boys already started their training, which, you know, in fact, they did. Uh, after that game on, on Saturday, what happened was, uh, you know, the you know, Persero gave them one day off. Uh, this following day which uh, was on sunday so no certain like training happened on sunday uh yesterday which was monday was when they started uh training and uh it was in the evening that they actually trained the morning of monday was a sort of recovery uh routine for the guys but the evening was where you know the the uh the whole of the team came out and had uh that training together uh so currently we have our uh, 24 players intact and involved in uh uh, in, in the trainings, not all the 24. Why I said 24 is Stanley Mwabali, you know, is still, he actually came up at the training, but, you know, he had he has an injury and the, the, the results from the scan was was actually expected yesterday to be out. Uh, but, uh, you know, no word about that whatsoever. I have, I have not seen it. No Nigerian journalist has uh, laid eye on it. And uh, to be honest, uh, Pusero also, uh, you know, or one of the pictures, some of the pictures which uh, were, were taken yesterday uh, involved, of course, I'll be posting them on the screen, involves, you know, somewhere, you know, we, we see we see, we see see the likes of Posero having discussion with a, a group of two or three people wearing the, wearing the Nigerian uh, uh, training kits. Those guys are also um, in the medical team. So uh, Posero is actually asking them, of course, the obvious question about the fitness of some of these players, Stanley Mwabali being uh, the one that, you know, is high on the list. Uh, so Pusera actually had lots of discussions with the medical personnel, uh, you know, about the recovery of, of some of these players. And of course, that's uh, yesterday evening that they had that training. Uh, uh, everybody came out, the 25 players came out, but Stanley wasn't involved. Not only Stanley... Uh, the report also was that uh, uh, Chus Ekong also sat out in, in, in that training, and of course, uh, Usime didn't also train. We learned Chus Ekong and uh, uh, Usime, they don't have injuries, they don't have issues whatsoever. So the decision to, to uh, relax them and not include them in the training was uh, strictly uh, to rest them ahead of that one. Uh, Chus Ekong is also expected to lead the team as a captain out in that Angola game. And of course, Osime definitely, definitely fit and okay for the game. The only uh, doubt right now is uh, Stanley Mabali, who came out for you know the training just like every everybody. Uh, but of course, he was he one time sat out, you know, lay down a little bit, and uh, you know was putting his leg on a on a on a lever on a lever, trying to uh, trying to you know massage his knee. And then after that, you, you know, that uh, routine, we also uh, saw him uh, walk around the pitch, try, try to, you know, step uh, on, on the grass and walk properly uh, to see, you know, if he could uh, really walk properly because when he starts to walk, it makes it a routine to walk. If he walks really well and he feels fine, he can start, you know, trying to maybe... Uh, up it by maybe jogging and you know doing something a little bit more uh, stressful with the leg uh, but of course he looks like he is going to be fit before friday uh, but posero has not come out to say that uh, uh you know the deadline for him to get a feedback from the medicals about Stanley wabali's injury is on wednesday and they are the medical the medical team also they are working uh, you know every single minute to try and make some information, some results available before uh, Wednesday. And of course, uh, that Wednesday, which is all, actually tomorrow, is just tomorrow. So Posero is saying that if he, he's, he's going to, you know, wait until that Wednesday, when he gets 
feedback from the medical team. Uh, apparently, uh, based on what Pusero said, the medical team are still going to run another scan that same Wednesday, and the results going to be out, and they will not check everything if it's possible. You know that Stanley will make that Friday match, but Wednesday is the deadline. If Stanley doesn't improve more than he is right now, as at Wednesday, it's very likely that Pusero is going to uh, move on without him, possibly. I get another keep, a keeper from the two that we have, Ojo and uh, Uzoho. Uh, but of course, you know, we hope that Stanley can recover quickly and there will be good news by tomorrow. So still in line with our update, uh, this one actually involves the training that, you know, they actually started properly uh, Monday evening, which was yesterday. So that uh, Monday evening training, uh, they apparently allowed uh, photographers, photojournalists, Nigerian uh, journalists, the media people to actually uh, observe that one so it was a, a sort of an open training uh, and it wasn't intense uh, but of course the intense training would be uh, this Tuesday this today which is the Tuesday but yesterday was just uh, the deep parts uh, routines in, in training the guys that were available uh, no Sime as I mentioned uh, no Ekonga no Wabali but the other guys uh, were uh, involved in the training and towards the the latter part of the training they actually uh, practice a lot in, in penalty they actually actually did a lot of penalty uh trainings you know all the players practice penalties uh the likes of um kenneth Emoru and ian uh you know uh, were the ones that scored all their penalties you know according to uh the updates right that they were the ones that had 100 percent penalties uh, goals and uh uh, today again they're still going to continue their trainings do part uh, normal trainings but more intense than yesterday and also practice penalties because of course you know this is uh the semi the quarter finals and in the round of 16 we saw a lot of penalties egypt will actually kick out because of uh, uh missing penalties and uh, uh a few other uh, uh you know games again we saw penalty shootouts so it's now become very important for Pusera to start integrating penalty uh, shootouts in his training and of course he's now already started that and i know a lot of people were asking uh you know they should start learning penalties but of course because is a tactician he knows his job is he's the coach i'm sure all these things cross cross his mind and of course uh, they obviously started that one so i'll just go straight to the uh, update about taiwa awoni so the good news guys on the f on, on, on the front of taiwa awoni uh, because he's now returned from injury you know he was uh, built to represent us in this afcon he was one of the you know attacking hitmen that we had you know we, that we that we were hoping to see in the afcon but of course he had that nasty nasty injury just a few days to the afcon and he had to uh, withdraw but you know there's good news right now because he has returned back to uh, foot training for nottingham forest and of course uh this is a very good news because you know He's a Nigerian. We always want to hear this kind of good news about Nigerians, you know, doing well, recovering from injuries and all of that. Uh, so he's definitely um, joined the training, proper trainings with the Nottingham Forest uh, team. And, you know, hopefully, maybe this midweek or this uh, Saturday, highest next week, he might be preparing to start making appearances starting from the bench. There you have it. Those are the updates coming out from the Nigerian Super Eagles camp as at this moment. And uh, I want to thank you guys for catching this video. I want to say a very, very big thank you to all the subscribers of the channel, to everyone who uh, comment in the comment section meaningfully, to everyone who try to promote our Nigerian players, you know, uh, through their comments, through their support, share the Nigerian Super Eagles in this AFCON and every other way that you do, you know, every other thing that you do to actually, uh, you know, contribute meaningfully to, to the Super Eagles. Nigeria as a whole, uh, I want to say big, big kudos to you. Uh, God bless every single one of you and uh, have a lovely day ahead.